What's going on everybody? I've got another tech related video for you today and you're probably wondering why this computer is here. Well, today we're going to be putting this guy in there. We're going to talk about it. This is the new aluminum fluid gaming kit from EK Gaming. EK Waterblock, same company, but this is their new branded system that's affordable and it works almost on par with the copper systems. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this and uh, figure out what it's all about. All right, so we've got the EK A240 kit right here. It comes with an aluminum radiator, aluminum block, tubing, aluminum fittings, and it comes with a uh, DDC style pump that is modified to have aluminum in metal components so you have no galvanic corrosion and loop. Um, comes with pretty much everything you need, except you're also gonna need to pick up some distilled water. That's an important part because this comes with concentrate. You're gonna need to add that in and you're gonna need to flush the components. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up and see what's all inside. And I'll give you guys a little quick rundown on that. I've also got a brand new razor blade here to uh, cut the tubing, because you will need to cut the tubing. And do not use scissors. That is an important thing. A lot of people, when they do this, they'll make the mistake to just try to use scissors. You don't want to do that. You want the edges of the uh, tubing to be perfectly squared to the fittings so you don't have any leaks. What's in the box? Standard BS packing. All right. Got your standard user's guide. We don't really need that. If you want to read it and you buy the system, have at it. Check it out on your own time. We have two EK Vardar fans. These are actually pretty nice fans. No need to really replace those unless you're looking for even better performance. An aluminum radiator, which we'll get into in a second. I'm assuming this is all of our fittings and block. Okay. Backplate, fittings, mounting hardware, Allen key. I'm assuming for plugs, judging by the size of it. All of our tubing. Fan splitters, right here. A uh, fan header adapter. This is kind of nice. It does come with an ATX jumper, so you can uh, bleed the system. That's kind of cool. Here is the awesome pump. <laughs> Thermal paste, which I believe is rebranded Gellet Extreme. Fan splitter for your fans, throwing it off the motherboard. More aluminum compression fittings, two of those. All right, this is actually your mounting hardware, your back plate for the CPU. Uh, this is your pump stand. So that's exactly what this is. It goes in a uh, 120 millimeter fan hole to mount it. You've got a different back plate here for an AMD socket and the water block. So let's go ahead and talk about this stuff. Okay, so this is the important part here. This is your water block. Now this system, since it's all aluminum, and I mean all aluminum, these fittings are aluminum inside. They're not brass like you're going to find in a lot of systems and they're not copper. They are full aluminum. And the reason for that, as I said earlier, is galvanic corrosion. Now I'll throw some examples uh, up to show you what galvanic corrosion is. It's not pretty. You definitely want to avoid that. Uh, the base of the block is pretty much just machined. It's not super polished, which is fine. I mean, it doesn't need to be super, super you know, polish, it just has to be flat. That's the biggest thing. And this is nice and flat, nice and true. You also have aluminum fittings on that. And the radiator is full aluminum, which means it doesn't weigh hardly anything. Now I've dealt with my fair share of radiators and this thing is light like you'd find in an all-in-one system, but has a much less dense uh, fins per inch on the uh, radiator itself. So the airflow is going to move through here very easily without having to have noisy fans or super high pressure fans. So that'll actually be really nice in the system to keep things quiet and cool. So first things first, you're probably wondering, well, how the heck do you even start with all of this mess and put it into there? It's pretty easy, actually. Uh, what we're gonna wanna do is put some fittings on the radiator. This is the easy stuff. Let's get all this crap out of the way first. Now you want to be gentle with this and don't cross thread it because it is aluminum. Uh, it's a fairly soft metal. And you don't need to get them super tight, just tight enough so that the o-ring seats. Otherwise uh, you might strip it since again, it is all aluminum. I really dig EK's uh, presentation of this with the uh, black compression fittings and the uh, black topped pump with the plexi sides. I kind of dig that. Looks pretty nice. All right, this Allen, since I've never used EK fittings before, is actually uh, a tool to tighten them down. And you don't want to go super tight, you just want to kind of get them snug. So I'm just checking them to make sure that they're all where they need to be. Sure enough, these ones are perfect. Yep, 
Very good. All right. Now, talk about the concentrate. This is why you need this. You don't want to put regular tap water in your system. It has too many heavy minerals, has calcium and all sorts of other crap you don't want to get in your system. You don't want to gunk it up. This right here contains uh, corrosion inhibitors, things like that. Even though this is an all aluminum loop, it's still a good idea to put corrosion inhibitors in there to keep any corrosion from occurring. We don't need to talk about these fans. These fans are just fine. All right, let's start gutting this thing. Now you'll want to hold it by the reservoir too when you unscrew it because it's also threaded on the bottom. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, so I can fuck it up. Yeah, so now, so what we want to do is we want to watch it. We don't want to let the pump run dry at any point. Okay. So all I'm doing is I'm rocking the switch on the back of the computer to make sure that we don't run it dry. If you run it dry, you'll damage the pump. Oh, okay, okay. That's because it's just not, it's powering something with that. It's like a- There's like no lubricant essentially mm -hmm. in it. Kind of like a boat motor, it has to have water running in it. Correct. So what you're gonna wanna do is just keep an eye on the reservoir level. Mm -hmm and make sure it's full. Oh, come on, you're not on there. Here we go. All right, now we're just gonna do a leak test here. And the way you do that is you take this, you put it underneath anything that could drip and leak. So we're gonna put it right there under those fittings. And some right up there on those oh, or underneath them. I just need to see if anything's dripping or dropping or anything like that. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've got the Fluid Gaming Kit installed in the computer and you can see down here by the Mr. Debugger screen, it's at 49 degrees Celsius, which might not sound like it's doing very good, but it's like 90 something degrees outside with a lot of humidity. So that's pretty good. When uh, he takes it home and he plugs it in and does his stuff, he'll see a lot lower temps. All in all, the install went fairly nice. It comes with everything you need to get going. Uh, nothing crazy. Uh, we did have some issues, as you saw, in the time lapse with mounting the, uh, the pump, but nothing out of the normal. Uh, the biggest thing you want to make sure if you're looking at getting this kit is you want to make sure that everything will fit in your case. And EK does a really good job on their website uh, specking out different chassis and what will fit. And everything did fit, but there was no real way to mount the pump, so we had to improvise. It's in there firmly. It's not going anywhere, but uh, just something to keep in mind. And that's going to do it. Uh, thanks, everybody. This is Chris. If you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Have a good day.